This new dinosaur is Regaloceratops Peter Hughesi, and that name means, basically means Royal Horn Face, and then Peter Hughes. Peter Hughes is the man who found the specimen, so we wanted to pay tribute to him there. The name Royal, uh, that's where Regal comes from, that is, it, it pays tribute to that frill, that, 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 sh that um, crown-like feature at the back of the skull, but it also uh, honors the Royal Terrell Museum here in Drumheller. We were involved in the collection, preservation, the research of the specimen. So the nickname itself for this particular specimen is Hellboy. That came about because the excavation conditions for the specimen were very, very difficult. The rock was incredibly hard uh, and our, our field crew gave it the name Hellboy. And it, it works quite well given the size of the horns over the eyes. It's very similar to the comic character. Um, the only part of the dinosaur that was found was the skull. Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because of the very difficult excavation conditions, if we had the full skeleton, it would have taken us a lot longer to collect it. We'd probably still be there today, or at least still be preparing the specimen. It was found by a member of the public, uh, Mr. Peter Hughes, back in 2005. Uh, he's a geologist from Calgary, and being a geologist, he recognized it for an important specimen, reported it to the museum, and then we were able to go out and evaluate the specimen, whether it was worth collecting. Uh, we collected it in 2006 and 2008, once it was collected, brought back to the museum here, it was prepared, so that's the process of removing it from the rock, uh, carefully reconstructing it and making sure it's, it's conserved. That process took about 18 months, so about a year and a half with one of our technicians, Darren Tanky. And then finally, it was ready for research and ready for exhibit here today. What's unique about this dinosaur is the suite of what I'm calling ornamentation features. So those are the horns. There's a horn over the nose, which is quite big. There's two horns over, the, over the, the eyes, which are quite small. And then there's this elaborate frill. That's that shield-like structure on the back of the skull. And along that shield-like structure, there's these large triangular or pentagonal plates. And that suite of characters is, is quite unique. Um, it, it diagnoses it as a new species, but it's also very different from everything it's related to. So it was a bit of, bit of a surprise when we actually uncovered the full anatomy of the animal. The skull itself is about 1.5 meters long. When the animal was alive, we estimate it would have had a mass of around 1.5 tons and been about 5 meters long. It would have been a large herbivore, so it would have been like Triceratops from a plant eater. It would have walked around on four legs. We don't know whether it lived in groups or was solitary. We know that some dinosaurs did live in groups, but we don't know about this particular one. We don't know how this particular specimen died. It was not involved in the mass extinction of the dinosaurs. This died uh, about 4 million years before the dinosaur mass extinction.